Okay, go ahead and say yours. Veterans Day Facts presented by Ms. Peters Plus. Veterans Day originated as Armistice Day on November 11, 1919, the first anniversary of the end of World War I. Congress passed a resolution in 1926 for a annual observation and November 11 became a national holiday beginning in 1938. In the year 1954, President Eisenhower officially changed the name of the holiday from Armistice Day to Veterans Day. In 1968, the Uniform Holidays Bill was passed by Congress which moved the celebration of Veterans Day to the fourth Monday in October. The law went into effect in 1971, but in 1975, President Ford returned to Veterans Day to November 11th due to the important historical significance of the day. Britain, France, Australia, and Canada also commemorate the veterans of World War I and II on or near November 11th. Canada, Canada has a Remembrance Sunday, while Britain has a Remembrance Day the second Sunday in November. In Europe, Britain, and the Commonwealth countries, it is common to observe two minutes of silence at 11 a.m. every November 11. Brave men and women who serve and protect the U.S. come from all walks of life. They are parents, children, and grandparents. They are our friends, neighbors, and co-workers. Here are some facts about the current veteran population of the United States. There are approximately 23.2 million military veterans. 7.8 million veterans served during the Vietnam era, 1964 to 1975, which represents 33% of all the living veterans. 5.2 million veterans served in the Gulf War, August 1990 to present day. 2.6 million veterans served during World War II, for 1941 and 1945. 2.8 million veterans served in the Korean War from 1950 to 1953. 6 million veterans served in peacetime. Five states have more than 1 million veterans in their population. California, Florida, Texas, New York, and Pennsylvania. Take time today to thank a veteran for all they've given to our country. Veterans Day is not to be confused with Memorial Day. It's a common misunderstanding. Memorial Day, the fourth Monday in May, honors American service members who died in service to their country or as a result of injured and cured during battle. Veterans Day pays tribute to all American veterans, living or dead, but especially gives thanks to living veterans who serve their country honorably during war and peace. In the year... Happy Veterans Day! Well, I joined the Navy, and when I was 17 years old, that's when I enlisted. Um, because of being under the age of 18, my parents had to sign me up for it and give permission. But I left for boot camp when I was 18, and I went to um, Orlando, Florida, RTC Re Recruit Training Command. What job and what school did you go for? It? My job, I was an ocean systems technician analyst. And I went to school in Norfolk, Virginia at the Fleet Anti-Submarine Warfare Training Center. What was your duty station? Well, my first duty station was Whidbey Island, Washington at the Naval Facility there. Then after that I traveled to Adak, Alaska, which is in the Aleutian Islands, and I spent two years there. So, so what was your duty station? Well, my first duty station was in Whidbey Island, Washington. I was there for about two and a half years. Then I traveled to Adak, Alaska, which is out in the Aleutian Islands. I was really far away from home. Then I traveled back to Whidbey Island, Washington for another two and a half years. And then for my last duty station, I went to the Recruit Training Center in Orlando, Florida and trained recruits. What was your training for? 
Well, being an ocean systems technician analyst, I did a lot of localizing and tracking um, for the integrated undersea surveillance systems. Which branch or service is the best out of the Marine or the Navy? Well, of course, I'm going to say Navy, but I am a little leaning towards the Marines also because my son is right now an active. I joined the military. One was because I li used to listen to my dad and his two brothers, my uncles, tell wonderful stories about times that they were in the Navy and all the things they did on the ships and all the places that they traveled. But then the other reason is I wanted to serve my country. I wanted to give back to my country and um, I was just very proud to be an American and that was the best way that I could serve my country, was to join the military.